Sheep fans, we are still in the Outer Hebrides of the west coast of Scotland, having an amazing time. You're going to enjoy this vlog again, I hope. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and enjoy the video. Today's video starts somewhere in the Bahamas. Oh no wait, that's actually the beach on the coast of North Uist in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. What an incredible country I live in and I'm privileged to be on another adventure here today to another set of uninhabited islands. And we have clear skies, turquoise water and another happy team ready to tackle some sheep work today. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hey. Yeah, hold on, hey. Okay, good. Some team. Hey, perfect club here. Hi, I'm Emma. Hi. How you doing, Emma? All right. Hi. Yeah, How you getting on, Cami? Hi, no bad. Doing, Cami? Getting on. I know bad, yeah. just there. Alright. You look well, mate. Right. Well, I'm Ridge Line model there. <laughs> Good to see the like of your future. The first part of our adventure today involves a one hour boat journey from North Uist over to our mysterious island destination. Well, it's not that mysterious. The name is in the title. We're heading to the Monarch Isles. And as these islands are home to 10,000 seals, each autumn who come there to breed. I would have been disappointed if these guys hadn't made an appearance. After another short trip in the dinghy through the turquoise waters, we set foot on land on our venue for today's vlog and I don't fully appreciate the beauty of my location until I put the drone in the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Monarch Isles. The Monarch Isles are a group of uninhabited islands that lie off the west coast of North Uist. This low-lying group of islands with undisturbed macher, a rare carpet of wildflowers and a large breeding grey seal population are all linked by sandbanks at the low tide. The islands are privately owned by North Uist Estate who are responsible for the management and upkeep of the island and with investment in the re-roofing and maintenance of the old schoolhouse and community hall, as well as the creation and upkeep of an exhibition room, the Monarch Hills really are a must-see. And it was this exhibition that was our first stop to learn some of the history of the island. Then, Patrick Morrison came out after them. Is that Suffolk cross lambs or Blackie lambs? Suffolk. Suffolk's. Amazing, actually, that. 
I kind of thought you stood here. Oh, well, this is where all my folk came from. That's where they used to cut the millstones out. You can see it in the shore there now. Cut, what are they? Millstones for grinding out. Oh, right, yeah, right, right. Making flour. Just chisel them out? Yeah. Unbelievable. You can see the broken ones that they almost got to the end and then they just. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare. To be fair, I'd give you something to do. <laughs> Do you think if you've got a hundred families staying there, every bit of grass is going to be required? Oh. And what they used to do here, because there was no peat here, they used to cut the peat. Really, and then boat, boat it across? And boat it across. And then the lack of selenium and that, you know, you get your calves and your lambs pining. So what they used to do, they used to put a peat in the water, because that combats it. Right. So they would put a peat in the water and they would get the minerals off the hill by putting a, a peat in the peat water. Peat in the drinking water? Ah. It would help a little bit. Aye, no, aye. no, I wouldn't. It was, it was still going to be an amazing stock. No. Well, now that you've seen some of the island, it's time that we got on with the job at hand. And the reason we came here today was to shear some sheep. But we need to find them first. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. And today we're on the Monarch Isles. All that's here is sheep, seals, and a heap of birds. Guys, make sure and like this video, give it a thumbs up, it takes two seconds. Apparently, it's good for the algorithms and science and things like that. Our challenge for today is to gather in the 160 sheep that are here and shear them. Now this is going to be a lot easier than it was on the shants because there is no massive hills to climb. It's a nice, flat, incredibly lush island and there should be 160 Hebridean sheep Somewhere about here. Let's go and find them. Oh, it's guy Netway. Are we a model? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it was about four, four year old. That's not a bad leg. Look at it. Yeah. Looks she's got dragging the sand. That was quite deep here, to be fair. That's what she said. The tide's been in here today. <laughs> this morning, the tide would have been up here. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't the drone see this? The, the tracks. I bet they're hiding around this corner. Well, we'll be able to tell. Shall? Because they went out in June and they've got us, eh? That's a that's a like three days old. Aye. They've tried to run across and get swept away. Of course they hadn't been swept away. And young Seamus, who had headed over the far side of the island, phoned to say he had them in his sights and they were heading our way. Here they are over the head. Are these good natural Hebridean lambs from out of Hebrides? Absolutely, lambs. Beautiful. Hebridean weathers. Yeah. Hey, nothing, no purer meat than what's grown on here. Now, I was actually live on Facebook on the Sheep Game page at this point, so we just have Ali's chest cam footage to show you the fun we had getting them into the pens. Archie, we'll have to watch that bit of fence, eh? I'll, I'll cover you, I'll get you side. I think so. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, skip. Oh, look skip back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip here, here, here. Jump, skip, jump, here, jump, here. Jump, 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 jump. Up, up, up. Look back. Hey. Go, Archie. Go, Archie. Go, Archie. I'll get. Yeah. Well done. Got that gap. Yeah. Yep. Hey, never straight forward, aren't you? Some gig. Hey, some gig. 
<laughs> now that all the hard so that's rich white sand. Now that all the hard skins off. Right down there. Right, just this this is, <laughs> this is <laughs> Katie, you see what you great. This is well I was at the party before you came. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the 50 feet. Grab Go into it. Bro. Just for that. How do you do that? Oh, I don't know. Don't you know where they are? Right? Good folks. Yeah, I'll be Archie. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it just wouldn't be the Outer Hebrides of Scotland if we didn't have a shower of rain. And as soon as we started shearing, sure enough, there it was. We only had two machines today, so we worked as a team, taking it in turns to shear a few sheep each. And really just having some fun and enjoying the day. But there is one thing about the Monarch Isles that I have not told you about yet. And it is really the only negative thing I had to say about the islands. The flies. The flies were unbelievable. They were everywhere. And as soon as I put my camera down to film anything, they were all over it. flies actually made the shearing quite difficult at times as they flew around your face when both your hands were already occupied. So it wasn't unbearable, just annoying. And I captured this fantastic photo of just what was happening behind the camera. And shortly after taking that photo, this happened. My drive snapped. Now I know I was wildly out of position there, putting unnecessary pressure on the drive. And these things happen. They're old machines. It can happen. So it looks like we're just going to be using one now. And we are done here in the Monarch Isles. Shearing finished. Main man today, probably Seamus, but well mucked in and did a few. You might not have seen, did I get any footage of me shearing? There may be a clip or two. But it's always hard to work the cameras and shear a few sheep. So usually, in these situations, I'm just filming the other boys. I promise I did at least two or three or 20. We did a few, but the boys were great. Setup was good. The girls seemed to quite enjoy themselves as well here. We're finished the Monarch Hills. We'll see you for the next one, sheep fans.
Can you say none? Can you, <laughs> you, <laughs> can, you can, can you speak to each other in Gaelic? Probably not. Do you not speak Gaelic? Wee bit. Oh. Big gun. Big gun. Eh? Big gun. Yeah, who's fish? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, How much water do you want in yours? Slange it. The water's gonna have to go in first. How much? No, not much less. How much? Wee bit less. Oh, steady. <laughs> How much whiskey do you want in it? Right. Keep, going. Keep going. Keep going. Slange it. Slander. You can all grasp for yourself now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you make two out of the bottle. Too much. 